Effective Screening Medium Tutorial. The structure of a water molecule can readily be imported from the materials bank into the account-owned collection of materials, if it is not already present there. Now, open Materials Designer. The water structure should then be imported into the Materials Designer interface, via the relevant option under the Input-Output menu. Delete any other listed material, and adjust the position of the water molecule for better visualization with the help of the 3D editor interface. We now edit the boundary conditions of the system, via the corresponding option in the Advanced menu. In the present example, we choose the Vacuum Slab Vacuum BC1 boundary condition option. Let us now inspect the water molecule with its newly added boundary conditions, with the help of the 3D editor. Let us also try to increase the number of repetitions, for better visualization. The boundary conditions appear as yellow panels in the graphic rendering of the interface system, since they correspond to layers of vacuum. Next, we save our water vacuum interface system to our materials collection through the corresponding option under the input output menu. Finally, we exit materials designer and return to the main web interface of our platform. Let us now create a new simulation by navigating to the job designer page. Then, inside the materials tab, choose the previously generated water vacuum system as the main simulation material by selecting it in the list. Then, open the Workflow tab, and choose the Effective Screening Medium workflow by selecting it in the list. Here, we consider the Relax variant of the Quantum Espresso ESM workflow. We now inspect the structure of the ESM workflow, by opening its only compute unit. Within the Quantum Espresso input script shown at the bottom, pay particular attention to the ESM-specific input parameters, defining for example the type of boundary conditions being considered in the present example. Also, the ESM option enables ESM, by embedding the simulation cell within an effective semi-infinite medium in the perpendicular direction. We now need to remember to change the size of the grid of K points under important settings, and set it to 1 by 1 by 1, since we are dealing with an isolated molecule in this case, as opposed to a periodic crystal. The options for defining the boundary condition settings can also be retrieved at the bottom of the important settings tab. After that, Navigate to Compute tab, and set Compute Configuration. Here, we use one node with four cores. Then, set the name for the job. Here, we call it, Quantum Espresso ESM Calculation on H2O. Next, save the job. It can then be selected and submitted to the compute queue, for execution. The status of the calculation will change from pre-submitted to submitted, and then to active. Please wait, until the job has finished running. When the job is finished, open it, to inspect the final results. The potential energy profile plot of our water vacuum system can be found, towards the bottom of the results page. It is plotted as a function of the distance along the vertical perpendicular direction, away from the central water slab. Similarly, the charge density profile plot is also displayed under the results page, showing the evolution of the charge density as a function of the same vertical coordinate. This completes the present tutorial.